Hello there. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace pollen filter on a Ford S Max 2011. And I'm going to tell you what tools you need. Um, so, for the two, basically, you need a 7mm socket and you need a sorry for the glariness of the video and you need a 30 mil, 13 mil socket um, if you're using the same size socket one ratchet would be enough if you're using the smaller sockets then you need two ratchets a small ratchet a extension and another ratchet quarter of inch and a torch light and the location of the pollen filter is on the passenger side under the glove box compartment we go ahead and show you now how to do it right here we go So first thing first, you need to remove the fuse filter, sorry, <laughs> fuse box, apologies for my Chinese. So how you do that is, this clip here, basically twist it, it will be there in that position. Just twist it right, bring it in the middle like that, straight, don't know if you can see it, down there, and the fuse box slide that from there and then on that side also you just slide there's no screw or anything like that you can see that there so you just bring it down and slide it but you have to be careful not to break it it's plastic or you can use a screwdriver to slide it out just a bit of tight place, sorry guys. I'm gonna try my best to show you clear enough. Right. That was an accident. Okay. Here we go. Oops. Where you slide it out. There you go. But you have to bring it down a little bit. That's it. Slide it out now. As you can see, same thing on this side. <laughs> slide out. And the fuse box come out. Um, I advise not to open the wires and the connectors because, in case something trips and you're gonna have a problem starting the car but it would be a little all the struggles you have to put this fuse box on it in a way so you can access the pollen filter as well and now the second stage is you need the 13 mil socket extension and a ratchet but I'm using a air gun to do it quick here we go air gun right I opened them two bolts now I'm gonna go ahead and take the bracket out here we go that's the bracket there you go only two screws they are 30 mil nuts then you go ahead and open two of the seven mil nuts, both actually. That's why the stuff, that white shiny stuff is the screw. 
me see if I can get a better picture. Hopefully. So this one here, as you can see, the light is missing around. <coughs> so that is one of them, and that is another one. You open them too, and then this flap comes off. Hold on. So stay with me. I'm going to take that off. Here we go. I'm using a small ratchet and seven mil socket. Second one up. Here we go. It's quite hard to see, but it's like that. I have to put my hand from the back of the fuse box because I don't want to take all the connectors off. Number one, it makes the jobs double, and number two, you can trip something and cause you more trouble. Mm. I think this is better now. Holding the fuse box down, that gives you more clearance and maneuverability. There we go, that's the second bolt out. And up, I just pull it and slide it. I think there's a one, there's one more hiding. Sorry, guys, I didn't see that. It's right on the top. So put the head down. Yeah, there's one on the top end as well. Put your head down. You can see it. see it but it's right there right that's this they're not the last screw basically on the top end so it has three of them instead of two um i'm gonna just go ahead and open that for you guys right i got the last bolt out now i'm gonna slide it and it comes out that's the flap and you can just put your hand either from the bottom of the fuse box or from the top but you can move it around because it's open once you open it then you can have a lot, you can have a lot of access and a lot of room but taking it out just slide it out there's wire on your way just play around keep it up or down or back but just not to stretch it because you're going to damage something yep there we go, it's coming out. Just keep the wires pushed down like that. And you can slide the air for pulling foot out. Here we go. Pulling foot out, when you put in back, you make sure put on the right way. And you've got arrows, arrows there showing you which way flowing. And I've got one one here. I've got the new one ready here. But when you're changing the pollen filter, it's always best advice to buy the best quality because this is where you breathe from. All the air comes through the pollen filter. And last, not the least, you have to make sure it's the same size and right size and then just go ahead put it back in right so stay with me you can slightly bend the filter and push it in it doesn't harm it it's flexible anyway it's paper otherwise it won't go in Nice and easy. Once that is in, put the flap flap back in. As you can see, it's got a latch. It's got a 
latch that latch goes inside the actual box and then you screw these three screw then one two three there you go right so he goes like that right it's all in now then you just put the screws back the same way you open I don't want to make this video any more longer sorry guys normally my videos just um, one to two minutes maximum but this one took a bit long because of the location and um, complicatedness of the filter anyway thanks for watching please hit um, the like and subscription button and thanks